Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing great. In today's video, we got a quick update in regards to a brand new max raid event happening in Sword and Shield. So let's hop over and have a look at the details. The event itself is running from October the 21st to October the 23rd. It is going to be coined the Crown Tundra Legends event. So it looks on face value like it would be a great event, but unfortunately, it's not quite as good as it seemed. Now, Pokemon had the opportunity here to do something amazing, which I thought they would do, but it didn't turn out quite as good as this. So we're looking at the one star raids, two star raids, three star raids, and four star raids for this event. And then we'll get into the five star raids. It's gonna be exactly the same over either cartridge if you've got Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield. So exactly the same, doesn't matter which version you've got. Uh, like I say, you're gonna have access to the five star raids. You're gonna to have to have complete the game to get the most out of this max raid event den. Um, the one star raids, like I say, the blip plug, tutel for the two star, the three star raids are gonna be double, and the four star raids are all gonna be Covenite. Now you're gonna get a bunch of decent items for these Pokemon, but the five star raids are really where you're gonna want to try and get the most out of this event because you can see here that Glastria and Spectria are going to be available in this max raid event but there does come a catch with this uh, or no catch unfortunately because you are not going to be able to catch these Pokemon they are DLC exclusive catchable Pokemon only they're not going to have their shiny forms either which is another real missed opportunity I feel it would have been a good opportunity to give people with just the base games of Sword and Shield these exclusive Pokemon that you can only get from the DLC and make them in their shiny forms available for the first time. It would have been a really great way to send off Sword and Shield before the release of Scarlet and Violet. Now the event, like I say, is running from the 21st of October, which was yesterday as of recording this video until October the 23rd. It's a very small window for this event running. So until uh, midnight your time, uh, the event will be running. So you've got a small winner to take advantage of this. And the only big draw from this event is gonna be going in, battling these two legendary Pokemon, but the items that they're going to drop you're going to get some very rare item drops obviously for these battles for beating these pokemon ability capsule is going to be one of them a very rare item to get a hold of shame it's not an ability patch because that's even rarer but that again is a dlc exclusive item uh, which is very unfortunate and then a bunch of rare berries here which you're going to get custab uh, the enigma berry and a bunch of other ones that you're not going to be able to find just out and about in the game the other things that you're going to have the opportunity to get and pick up are going to be a bottle cap which is going to have a 70 percent chance to appear in your prizes and a 40 percent chance of a gold bottle cap obviously the gold bottle cap can max out all ivs when you go to the trainer in winden uh, other than that you're going to get a bunch of dynamax candies dynite or armorite or and xp candies as well but you're going to get quite a few of those for beating either of these pokemon now they're all going to be the same for the the, the five star raids you're going to get about a four to three percent chance of a spawning one of these in game and uh, you can see the item drops are guaranteed pretty much for these pokemon which is why uh, they are going to be the ones that you want to take advantage of in this den just to make a note as well the lower star raids if uh, you go for the covenite the double or if you've only starting out your game with one or two star raids with the tutel and the blip bug you are going to be able to catch these in their shiny forms and catch them as well but unfortunately the glastria and spectria are not catchable and they do not have their shiny forms i will just repeat again like i've said everything both the same across sword and shield so yeah we'll just hop into game now and show you how you can use the datescape glitch to try and get these five star raids if you want to take part in this event while it is running i use this area to get at updated dens any max raid event dens and this on the map as you can see is dappled grove it is in the main wild area it is located here on the map it has two dens right next to each other which is why i use it because you can go between them so you're just going to want to come to a den here drop a wishing piece in and then you can have a look if it's a regular pokemon that normally spawns there it's not one of the event dens and to get the event dens you're going to have to go to your mystery gifts in your menu settings we've been through this a million times but we'll go through it again you want to just get a, a wild area update and then it will connect to the internet and it'll update all the dens in every single den around the game that'll be the crown tundra isle of armor or the wild area and you'll get a little message that'll pop up just saying 
that uh, your wild area events have been updated and uh, once that's been done you can start dropping wishing pieces and uh, try and get the event den hopefully we get it pretty quickly it shouldn't take too long going between the two dens like this sometimes it does um but you should hopefully if you've been playing sword and shield for long enough now have enough wishing pieces to be able to just do this until you get the event den okay so we finally got the event den here what you want to do because of the star ratings and the glastria and the spectra are only available in your five star raids if you're wanting to manipulate the den in these situations you're gonna have to use the datescape glitch because you probably don't want a dub wall even though you're gonna get some decent items they're not really what this event is about so you want to just hit invite others all you want to do there once that's started make sure you're not online when you're doing this hit your home menu and then come down to your system settings you want to come down in the system settings to system then into date and time you want to make sure that your clock is off uh, synchronized via the internet make sure it looks like that then come down to your date skip the date forward one day click ok then you want to hit your home menu again come back into the game and the den will still be going you want to just quit out of this this will skip the date forward one day in the game uh, you'll see the weather will change when you click back into the den you're going to get 2000 watts like you're clicking into the den for the first time and the pokemon should have changed obviously it is a double there because it is a three star raid and double is the only pokemon in the three Three star raids but we are looking for a five star raid so you want to just repeat this process over and over again until you do get one of those five star raids with the glastria or spectria for this uh this max raid event then because it's pretty much all you want to be doing is going for those pokemon you have to defeat them and it is a good way like i say to farm items now it looks like we're not changing the den because the pokemon isn't changing but we are changing it take my word for it it is uh we are getting 2000 watts every time we do it it is a quick process it can be a little bit time consuming and i don't know whether or not it's worth it for this max raid event then getting the items is obviously really good but it depends how much time you're getting but you'll eventually land on something like a spectra or glastria and when you do you can then go into it you can invite others if you want to make it easier or you can just go in yourself make sure you use a high level pokemon that's got super effective attacks against these pokemon i've got an urshifu in my party and then you want to just defeat it and then collect the items from these pokemon now you can see these battles in the max raid are going to be a little bit annoying if you want doing these with friends as you know already you're going to get the annoying npc characters that you get alongside them the problem is with glaster and spectra is they have the grim near and the chilling near ability which makes their stat uh, attack increase every time they pick up a knockout making them even more powerful so they're pretty difficult to take down like i say by yourself but you should be able to do it and uh, that's the one drawback for this event it does feel like a bit of a, a kind of a, a tease a troll uh, where you're able to get some really good valuable items but at the same time you're kind of getting teased with these pokemon that you want to have and it takes a lot of work to kind of get these items in the first place like i say if you've got a bunch of friends that you can hop on and do this with then i think it'll be well worth it uh, you'll be able to blitz through these raids no problem at all but you're going to need a very strong uh, dog type or fighting type pokemon urshifu feels like the best pokemon to bring into these max raids to do these um just for these items i probably would say that this is not an event that would be great but um we'll finish this up and we'll see what the rewards are and there we go snorlax coming through for us big snorlax and uh getting getting rid of it and as you can see we can't catch it unfortunately it just disappears and uh, we are going to be left with a bunch of items i'm going to just take the camera off so we can see properly you get six uh, large candies six extra large candies which is really good you're going to get two di uh, armorite or dynite or you get five of you get an ability catch-all uh, enigma berry you get a bottle cap uh, and a gold box cap as well as the berries as well that are listed so you do get a bunch of really good items there but like i say is it worth your time going in just for these items um if you need them yeah of course you can um but otherwise it's not ideal now the other thing to note before we finish off today is that 
There was an announcement recently that Pokemon have said that online facilities for uh, Sword and Shield will be coming to an end for updates on the 1st of November. There will be a final update for Sword and Shield and after that there will be no more updates. You're going to be able to go on the battle online simulator and, and do friendly battles and things but the rank ladder will not be updated anymore. There will be no more series seasons in Sword and Shield and they will do a final update with the wild area max raid dens to give you things like Gigantamax, Snorlax and things like that. So we will do an update on the Pokemon that are going to be available after the 1st of November with all of these details so you know what you can go into the game and get. So make sure you don't miss that when we put it out on the channel with all of that information. But we are winding down, like I say, we've got Scarlet and Violet coming out very soon. Very excited for it. Hope you are too. And if you do take part in this event this weekend, I hope you manage to get a bunch of items, useful items from it because otherwise the event itself is just just a big kind of how do we put it up yours from pokemon go and get the dlc pretty much that's what they're saying because we're not going to be able to get these pokemon any other way at the moment but um yeah it could have been so good but it wasn't and uh, if you do take part in it i hope you enjoy it anyway and make use of the items while they're still available but have a great rest of your day friends thanks for tuning in hope you found this update useful and uh, if there's anything else in the meantime before that final update on the 1st of November. Of course, we will cover it here on the channel. Take care and bye-bye.